What's up you guys, it's Levi here. So I had a previous client at an old job that I worked at that wanted me to help her remove this off of her computer. Um, as you can see here, it has that spammy junk on her screen that you generally get if you fall for a phishing email or click on a bad link or you're installing an application that looks legit or a toolbar that looks legit and then boom, you see all this crap all over your computer. It's super, super annoying. Um, and you might also see this if you end up going out to the Iowa Hawkeyes website or the Green Bay Packers website. All right, <laughs> that might be a lot. Anyway, I thought um, instead of contacting her directly and helping her remove this malware off of her system, why not create a video on YouTube that not only helps her, but helps millions of the people on the interwebs out there. And this would save her and you all from having this junk on your computer and it might save you all from having to pay an IT professional to take that junk off your computer. So that day is today, that video is here right now. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to destroy malware in 2020 using malware bytes. I'm gonna teach you guys how to get and install malware bytes. I'm gonna teach you guys how to run the scans using malware bytes. I'm gonna teach you guys how to remove that malware after you run the scans and malware bytes. And then most importantly, I'm gonna give you guys a peace of mind after you remove that malware off your machine so you guys can get some clarity in your head so that you're able to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And let's go ahead and slide into that tutorial. All right, welcome to the tutorial. All right, so the first thing that you guys are gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to malwarebytes.com. I'll post the link down below in the description. Um, if you guys wanna click on, it, on that through there. Um, and then once you're on malwarebytes.com, um, there's a free download option. There's also some paid versions. Um, the free version is good enough for what you need here, but I'll show you the paid options anyway and kind of explain them. Um, so they have this premium paid option. Basically, this premium paid option does what the free version does, but it's actively scanning for malware all the time. So the free version only scans for malware when you manually run it. So if you don't pay for that premium version, you're gonna have to manually run it all the time to remove malware if you're constantly getting malware all the time. Um, otherwise, this this will run in the background and it, it will automatically remove it. It's almost like an antivirus, it's just anti-malware instead. Um, so if you're somebody that's constantly getting this pop-up garbage and stuff that hijacks your computer all the time, you might want to consider the premium version so that you don't it just automatically blocks that stuff versus you having to run the scan all the time. All right, and then there's another option, the privacy option that just gets you set up with a VPN or a virtual private network. Um, and then there's an option that combines both that premium option and that virtual private network option. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and use the free version. It's up to you if you wanna use the premium version or not. So we'll go back here and we'll click on the free download button. Um, it kind of explains some more on, on what you need to download. So once we went inside of here, it already downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and, and open up that installer. Um, and then you'll either have a user account control screen like this or you'll have um, a pop-up that just says yes and, and wants you to go and do it. So either type in your username and password or just type hit that yes button. All right, so then this is a screen that comes up after you type in your username and password and hit yes or if you just hit the yes button. Um, obviously, we want to do this on a personal computer. Um, and then you get this screen that comes up. Just click the install button. And then after you're done installing, you get this that comes up. Um, and as you can see here, it says that you're in a premium trial. It automatically gives you a 14 day trial where it's automatically scanning in the background. And then after that's done, then um, you, it will convert over to the free where you just have to run this manually all the time. So 
Now you want to get rid of that crappy malware on your machine, so you go ahead and just click the scan button in the scanner option. And with the power of editing, the scan is pretty much done instantly. Amazing, right? No, the scan can take a very long time depending on how fast your computer is. My computer is super, super fast, so it only took 57 seconds, but yours might take a lot longer. Um, but anyway, even the cybersecurity expert can get malware on his machine. I don't think this is actually legit malware, but hey, it picked it up. So <laughs> I'm glad that it did. So I have, I have something to show you guys on how to remove it. So basically, you'll get a list inside of this menu of various things. Sometimes you'll get stuff that's not actually malware. Like, I don't think this is, but I don't need this. So I'm just going to remove it anyway. Um, but you might want to check through over on this location and make sure that whatever you're removing is malware before you remove it. All right, so and then you just got to check the box over on the side here. You click on quarantine. Um, it might have an option to delete it as well. So I'll click on quarantine and that will get rid of the threat. And then you just click done and your malware should be gone. Um, it might prompt you to restart, so you might have to go ahead and restart and then once you get back in, your malware will be gone. It just really depends on the grade of malware that you have on your machine. Like if it's something that doesn't require a restart, you might not have to restart. So uh, one last thing, if you wanted to get in malware, it's malware bytes after you close this out and want to run the scan again, um, you just go in the start me menu and type in malware bytes and that will open up this window so that you can run the scan again. And, that's pretty much all you need to know about running malware bytes and getting rid of that malware off your machine. All right, so I hope you guys found this tutorial to be super useful for you guys. Unfortunately, malware bytes does not work 100% of the time. There's nothing that always works 100% of the time, um, but I found it to work the majority of the time. But there's some strains of malware that are just so good that this tool cannot uninstall them. Sometimes you might have to use multiple tools to uninstall them, or you might have to clean off your computer and completely reinstall Windows. And if that doesn't work or you need help doing that, you might even have to contact an IT professional to help you remove this malware. So I hope this video was beneficial for you. Make sure you're sharing this video out with everybody that you know um, and that you're smashing the like button, hitting the subscribe button, and hitting that notification bell so that this content can get promoted up on YouTube so more people can see this and help themselves and get this nasty crap off of their system. I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.